Hello and welcome to another Void XRC video. Thanks for tuning in. So this is part four in my toy dump truck to RC conversion. And as you can see, I've got the actuator installed. That didn't quite go as I had planned in my head, but I was able to figure something out. So let's just show you what I did do. So I ended up having to install the actuator all the way down to here in the front. It was a little bit bigger than I had thought it was, but that's what you get when you don't pay enough attention when you order things. But that's okay. I will have a link to the, to the uh, I will have a link in the description below for where I got this actuator. It is good for 45 pounds, so it's got quite a bit of strength to it. I was able to get it, so it's pretty much at the top of the dump bed's height, so it should dump dirt out totally fine. Now another thing is I wasn't able to get it to go completely flat and low like it should. And I'll show you where it stops. It's a little slow, but that's okay. So that's about as far down as I could figure out how to get this and still get up to the top dumping um, position. It's not ideal, as you can see it still leans back a little bit. You can see the original stops, those two plastic things there for it. So it's not quite as down as far as I would like it. But with this particular actuator, I don't know if I could position it any other way in the vehicle to um, get it to go lower and still have the full dumping range. So I guess this is what I'm going to live with. I have thought about getting some sheet metal and just ribbing it along the side to make it uh, flat there. Not sure if I'm going to do that, but it is an option. Uh, let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea or if I should just leave it as it is. But other than that, I believe this dump truck build is basically done. So what I had to do to install this actuator was I cut out, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but I cut out a big chunk all the way from the front, all the way to the back there. Because I wasn't sure how to mount it at first. As you can see, I've got a hole there and a hole there as I was trying to figure out mounting positions. Um, so I cut it up a little bit more than I had originally needed to, but I really just didn't know how to do, how to do it. I was just guessing and trying things out. So in the end, I think it came out pretty good. One thing I think I'm going to do is, even though I have the back um, axles zip tied down, I'm not going to do that to the front. It just gives me so much better access up into here, and it doesn't affect it when I'm running. So I think I'm just going to leave it so I can flip it if I need to. As you can see, I have cleaned up the wires a little bit. I have a few clips in there to hold some of the wires down. So. Let's get on to testing the dump bed. Let me uh, take everything outside, or if I can't do that because it's really cold here still, I'll bring in a bunch of rocks and we'll test it in the studio here. Anyways, either way, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so it's still far too cold outside, about minus 21 or 22 Celsius. So I just gotta do a little test in here. As you can see, I've already got some rocks in the bed here. So one problem I did come across as when I loaded up with too many rocks, the wheels and tires I have just don't have enough support so they just squish out. So I'll probably in the future I'll have to get some stiffer, but for now it works. Let's just see how it drives with that load of rocks in there. You can see it drives forward good. In reverse it's a little weak because I have reverse power set a little bit low so on the speed controller so I need to adjust that. So it's a little bit weak in reverse. But it does work. So, so as you can see it drives around quite well. Let's see how it dumps. I can see the back wheels bulging a little bit more than they were. So, 
got to use the throttle a little bit to get everything out, but I should be able to do it. There we go. I'm quite pleased with that. It's pretty awesome to have this dump, dump truck done. I guess now I just need some ex excavators and some other stuff. Hopefully that will be coming soon, but I've got no idea. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.